Alright, we're, uh, we're on the record. Okay. Call the meeting to order. Council agenda meeting of January 7th, 2020. Introduction. Posting notice. Adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in accordance with the requirements of the Open Public Meetings Law by filing the notice in the office of the township clerk and by posting the meeting notice on the bulletin board at the municipal building on December the 18th, 2019, where it has remained posted since that date. A legal notice appeared in the daily record and the Newark Star Ledger on December 23rd, 2019, and was forwarded by fax to other local newspapers and local radio stations on December the 18th, 2019. Council meetings are videotaped and aired on Cablevision, Public Access Channel 21, at 11 a.m. on Sundays and are also available for viewing at www.parsippany.net. Would you all join us in the flag salute? Mm -hmm. well, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, for the attack, yeah, okay. We're going to have a moment of silence for the attack and, and hope that yes, everyone is safe. Let's pray, pray for those airmen and their families. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Mayor. Roll call. <clears throat> we have Mr. Uh, Cariffi. Here. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Here. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. Here. DePiro. Here. Also in attendance are Mayor Michael Soriano, Business Administrator Keith Kazmark, Township Attorney Jim Lott, CFO Ann Cucci, and Township Clerk Colette Madden, Council President. We have a quorum. You may begin. Thank you. Uh, before we start, uh, Township Clerk Khaled, I see that we have upcoming meetings. Uh, it's on the 22nd, not the 21st of no. January. No, no, it's the 21st. I apologize, and that okay. is a typo. Thank you, Council Vice President. Thank you, Loretta. Upcoming meetings. January 21st, 2020, at 7 p.m., regular meeting. February 4th. 2020 at 7 p.m. <coughs> agenda meeting. Approval of minutes. We'll have one regular meeting, 12-17-19. Since this is an agenda meeting, we won't vote on that tonight. Presentations, Mayor. I have nothing to present tonight. Thank you very much. Happy New Year, and congratulations to the uh, to the new Council President, Council Vice President. Thank you. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Township Attorney. I have no report. Business Administrator. Uh, thank you, Council President. Uh, first of all, to Council President DiPiero and Council Vice President Greg Nani, I want to congratulate you on your appointments tonight. Thank you. Um, thank you. Under uh, my report, uh, we have been, for the last two weeks, uh, working diligently on all the professional services contracts that were approved by Council tonight. Uh, those will begin to be executed tomorrow and sent out and filed for the rest of the year. Um, starting next week, uh, we will be nose to the grindstone, preparing the 2020 municipal budget. Um, Ann and I met today and we put a rough schedule today. Uh, we do intend to replicate the schedule from last year. Uh, we, were, we made the mayor's budget presentation sometime in the month of February um, and then hopefully introduction in March and adoption in April. Um, and lastly, we are finalizing uh, the last pieces of the civil service review uh, where we reviewed all non-union titles uh, to make sure that folks who work for the township um, were adequately registered and filed with civil service in an appropriate work title. Um, so that should be coming to fruition by the end of January as well. Um, and we'll have everyone appropriately classified by the end of the first quarter of 2020. That's good. <coughs> Thank you. That's all I have. And I hope you're going to use 2020 hindsight when you do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a reoccurring joke this year. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Township Clerk. Uh, one item, Council President, as um, 
As stated previously, we had done that town-wide destruction and we had updated all the archives and all the archives are up to date. Uh, we are uh, in the process currently of implementing RIMS. We've had RIMS already. We are just going full speed ahead in, in going forward with scanning of documentation in an effort to make this township paper light. You can never not have any paper at all, but this will be uh, uh, very helpful in document retrieval, document retention. It will be a cost savings to the township. Currently, we have my office, we have zoning, uh, we have also construction and planning that are already, you know, doing this full speed ahead. We plan on in the next month or so to put uh, administration, finance, tax collecting, and tax assessing as well on, and then we'll continue department by department after that. Uh, thank you, Council President. Okay, thank you. Township offices, committees, reports, anything? Not at this time. Engineering report I see is not available for this meeting. Yeah, Justin was on vacation over the holidays, uh, but you'll have a report for the next meeting. Okay, thank you. Bids to be taken January 22nd, 2020. Noel West Country Club Irrigation System replacement is a rebid. Quotations, proposals, and qualifications. Consulting services on behalf of the Township of Parsippany Troy Hills Police Department for obtaining accreditation by the New Jersey State Association of Chiefs of Police. Good. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to open the meeting to the public. Motion. Second. Motion made by Mr. Cariffi, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Uh, roll call, Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. The floor is open to the public on any matter. You have five minutes. Sign in. You're already signed in. No, I'd like to say one. State your name for the record, though. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mary Przicki, 273 Marcella Road. Listen, I'd like to make a comment about the property about St. Christopher's. When the Open Space Committee looked at it and said they had no use for it, I have a very good use for it. There are uh, beech trees there, and it's a beech forest. And beech forests are um, rhizomes. They're like um, aspen trees, and they grow. And I want to know how many of those kind of acres of beech forest is there in New Jersey? And I think you'll find out that there are not too many. The one thing, there was a editorial in the Do Daily Record that there's a campaign to <coughs> plant one million trees around the world so that we could breathe better, mm -hmm. so that our carbon is absorbed by trees not by buildings, but by trees. So there is a value to that property. And yes, there is another recreational value, and that's called passive recreation, where you can just walk through a forested area and listen maybe to the birds sing and not have to hear about some yelling of who didn't kick that football right or whatever. It brings peace of mind when you walk through places like that. And that's the value of that land. And that should be considered. And I think it was considered under, with Mimi Letts. I, I just know her that well that she did want that preserved. So think, I hope that when it goes before the Board of Adjustments, the value of the land to human breath is considered. I just do. Thank you, Mary. When we did look <coughs> at that property, though, the Parks and Forestry looked at it, the Recreation Department looked at it, the Open Space Committee looked at it. We, we, did, we did look at it. Uh, I'd like to enforce what Mary just said, and it's the oldest trees that take in and sink the most carbon. Most of the carbon is in the soil. We're in an environmental crisis on this planet, whether you want to believe it or not. It doesn't happen like that, but it will happen like that after the entropy and the, the, the system that has been injured suddenly collapses. And that's the future we're, we're going to leave to our children. So this little forest that's providing our ecosystem services 
And uh, I looked it up, and there on this very property, there's two endangered, uh, there's a wood thrush and a, uh, a Cooper's hawk, which are endangered in the state of New Jersey, two species of birds that have been spotted in that property. And uh, the Indiana bat, has a range that extends into Persephone. That's why they had to stop cutting trees up on Waterview for a while because that developer had was starting to cut down the trees at the wrong time. U.S. Fish, Game, and Wildlife uh, made them stop and they had to put up nets. They didn't catch an Indiana bat in the net, but that still do doesn't mean that they're not around. So they do range into Persephone. So the old way of thinking about forest and land, it all has to change now. And once again, it's in the Laudato Sea of Pope Francis. If you read it, it's there. So I think we can still deal with the church. We're in Highlands conformance now, and it's still really chump change overall. We can get the state, the county, local, and we could probably get the Highlands to help us if all these people from that neighborhood in this town come out of the woodwork, I think that it can definitely come to pass. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak? Seeing no one come forward, entertain a motion to close. Make a motion. Second. <clears throat> motion made by Mr. Cariffi, seconded by Ms. Grignani. <clears throat> Roll call, Mr. Cariffi. Yes. Ms. Grignani. Yes. Ms. McCarthy. Yes. Ms. Peterson. Yes. Mr. DePiro. Yes. The floor is closed. Okay, just review those ordinances if you have any questions. And the consent agenda also. The license renewal, does that have to be done tonight? Uh, no, Council President. Okay, so then, then at this point I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Make a motion. Second. Motion made by Mr. Cariffi, seconded by Ms. Grignani. Roll call. <coughs> Mr. Cariffi? No, excuse me, Ms. McCarthy. Ms. McCarthy. Okay, so we have a motion by Mr. Cariffi, seconded by Ms. McCarthy. Roll call, Mr. Cariffi? Yes. Ms. Grignani? Yes. Ms. McCarthy? Yes. Ms. Peterson? Yes. Mr. DePiro? Yes. We're adjourned. Have a good night, everyone.